Is it too dark? Nah, it's fine. Mm. So what's up, guys? <laughs> okay, look. I would have uploaded sooner, but two things have happened recently. One, I started school again. Two, this game just had to fucking come out, and I've already poured 120 hours into it. I wish I was kidding. But yeah, um, that's what I've been doing recently with my time in quarantine. <laughs> But anyways, like I start off with every video, thank you guys, I really do appreciate you for all the support on the previous video, where I reacted to Shama, another masterpiece by Miyashitayu, Niru Kajitsu, Wuma, the animators. And in this video, uh, I'm going to be reacting to the fan favorite in the comments section of the previous video, Callboy by Miyashitayu. Now, I don't think this one's connected necessarily to like the other shit, I don't know. However, it doesn't matter, because with any music video by Niro Kajitsu, it's going to be good. It doesn't matter. I'm eager, I'm excited, I'm ready for Miyashitayu's voice to just do things to me, like always. I have to make sure. Are you ready? I'll wait. Oh boy. Probably turn it up a little bit. I wish I could read. <laughs> Hello. It got darker. Oh, they're at a bar. He's with a girl. Okay, he's happy. Wait. They're at a bar, so I wonder if he's intoxicated. Okay, yeah, so he's holding a cup. Okay. Sending nudes. <laughs> what are these pictures though, actually? Whoa, okay, hold on. Okay, so straight off the bat, I can already tell they're, like with every one of these music videos, I can already tell that there's definitely symbolism in this that I'm sure I'll be able to, you know, piece together a little bit more in the next watch through with subtitles. But, um, I mean, so far, yeah, I mean, this whole thing is very, I feel like I keep repeating what I say with his, with, uh, with his other music videos. It's because it holds true throughout all of them that they're very visually stimulating. Like you see, like this image right here, you can't look away. It just really draws you in. Okay, I'm gonna pause here. Now he doesn't look like he's enjoying himself at all. <laughs> the one in the middle, it looks, he, he looks very distraught, very upset, very almost devastated. That's what that face looks like. This facial expression on the left looks as if maybe perhaps he's angry. But then it's odd because this one on the right then still looks like he's expressing happiness or like he's enjoying himself. So, huh. Can't stop. Wait, 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 what is it? Did it say can't? Did it say can't stop? 
Can't stop. Okay. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Can't stop. They're at a bar. Or he's at a bar. So, I mean, is there substance abuse here? With alcohol? Okay. Oh. <laughs> that, oh my god. That voice, holy shit. I'm, oh shit. I've never... I, I've already praised Miyashi to use voice for having range, but I thought I've seen, I guess I should say, I thought I've heard what like everything there is to hear when it comes to his range. Like, he goes high, he goes low, but this was like, he made his voice raspy. <laughs> it's so good. Holy fuck. Fuck. It like, it, it matches, it, it even matches the room. Because it looks like the room's being filled up with smoke. When you smoke, what happens to your voice over time? It gets raspy, so like, he made his voice raspy here to fit this current theme right here in this, in this clip. Details, man, details. <laughs> Whoa, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I wanna go back a little bit. Uh, <laughs> this would be a really good music video, like for like around the Halloween time. But yeah, once again, like his voice, dude, like Fuck. The colors. Now it's like super fucking colorful. Beautiful, holy Who's this? Whoa, wait a minute. What the fuck? Wait, who is that? What does that mean? What was that logo on the phone? What is that? Okay. So a lot of shit went down there. I gotta say this, since it's still fresh in my mind, but those those last couple of frames there at the end with like, really, it, it went from like really, really dark and monotonous. Like It got super colorful for a second. Like this right here, just insane. And then like, what the fuck was this part right here? Like he looked down at his phone and then I don't know what he saw. And then this shit happened. So I, there was, I think there was definitely substance abuse here. Especially, I mean, specifically alcohol. That clip where he said can't stop is what makes me think that. Well, I mean, it, it was that in conjunction with the scenes of him being at a bar and it looked like he was intoxicated in those scenes where like he was, there was like three versions of himself and each one had different facial expressions. Very interesting. Beautiful once again, especially there at the end and his voice. We heard another side of his voice that I, I never heard before. I've heard the highs, I've heard his lows, but now we heard that he can, he can make his voice like really raspy on command and still sound good as fuck. So, Jesus. <laughs> Let's restart right away and uh, this time with captions. Okay, I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. Call boy. The underground bar in the rundown part of town is where drunken fools become self-proclaimed geniuses, full of people wanting to abuse others and people wanting to be abused. Ooh. Cheap bourbon with lots of impurities really suits your half-hearted behavior. Oh, that's wait, that's creative actually. So the lyrics in Japanese anyway, they're being shown in these text messages along with pictures that. Oh, okay, that's neat touch, neat touch. I see what you did there. Once you're drunk, it's all the same. That's what I always say. People drink to kill their solitude. That's dark. <laughs> and fill up their emptiness. Ooh. So this is about alcoholism, huh? Hmm. 
money, time, and my liver. Well, I'll sacrifice anything, so... Why don't we get together? Before I can say it's good or it's bad, I've already forgotten it all. Making the same excuses again tomorrow. If I drink, I'll be hungover tomorrow, but if I don't drink, tomorrow won't come. I hate it. Another drink. Oh, this is fucked up. I don't care. Another drink. See? You, did you see that? See, like, once again, like, the, the, the lyrics that these... The effort that goes into, like, these closed captionings, these subtitles, like, it changed color with the, with the, with the scenery right there. And it also changed orientation to match, you know, it going upside down. Tomorrow's whereabouts in tonight's train. I miss them all, but it's still a great success. As long as you throw away pride and reason, love is easy to lie about. Silencing me with my index finger. It's not even 2 a.m. yet. After all our usual night, I can't say anything against that, but... Everyone is a hypocrite. So is this him with... What is that? Is that a cup? Is he talking to the alcohol? That's something else I'm gonna have to look into after this. Hunting down gentle lies like animals. Bloody booze, fiery booze, bitter booze. Hey, I'll be kind, so please... Don't leave me alone. You make a big fuss about whether it's real love or not. But once you're drunk, it doesn't matter anymore. It's time to get wild and reckless. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Ooh, that's fucking crazy. So, I mean, at least from this picture, it looks like that line right there was like, Hey, don't worry about it. Let's just enjoy ourselves. You're str you stress too much. It sounds like it's coming from this happy guy right here. And these two guys are like, ob very obviously not down with that. They're like, they're crying inside. But maybe externally, this is what's showing. And this is what's overpowering these, these suppressed emotions right here. I could be talking out of my ass, but that's, that's just what I'm getting from that line and this imagery. Oh wait, and since even that anyone didn't choose me, I hide my tears and get even more drunk. Also, he's lonely? I hate it. Another drink. Mm. Can't stop. Without any meaning, another drink. This is, okay, yeah, this is, hmm. So he's alone, isn't he? And he's, it seems to me he's trying to fill this emptiness within him with alcohol because it gives him a sense, it gives him an escape. It leave, even if it's momentarily, he wants it because that's all he has. And he, the reason why he turned to an alcoholic is because of, of, of that fact, exactly, right there, where it's like, that, that solution is very temporary. Uh, and this is, this is obviously, this is now getting into, you know, touchy territory in real life. Just alcohol is very, very, it, it's a very temporary happiness. The reason why I say happiness is because it's not really happiness, it's more of just making you forget and it's more just like suppressing and pushing your, your worries and your troubles under the rug for a little bit so that it's, it's like out of sight, out of mind, but you're not really taking care of it and it only lasts for a little bit and you're just, I mean, you're gonna end up back at square one and what a lot of people do is they don't want to let go of that, that fake happiness and so they continue to drink more and more and more and more because it doesn't last forever. An idiot and smoke. Okay, I'm sorry. Fuck the voice. His voice. An idiot and smoke go bar crawling, crawling around just like a spider in its silk. No matter where I go, it's all full of shit. You say, but you know the shittiest thing here is you. You idiot. Ooh. He's becoming self self aware. And so, like, now he's getting, he's pissed at himself. I've already forgotten it all. I hate it. I'm at my limits. You think you can live easily without drinking. You're actually the one who is drinking the most. I hate it. Another drink. Won't stop. Before I die, another drink. Who is that? Or does she represent his addiction? 
whoever that woman is. Hmm. What is that though? Oh, subtitle by Sharp Fangs. Is that just like the logo for them? That's the people behind the subtitles. Thank you, Sharp Fangs. <laughs> for real, they, they give really, really, really good um, subtitles. They don't have to go the extra mile, but they do. Okay, so before I move on to finding um, a theory breakdown, like something that kind of like spoon feeds us all, from what I gathered from it, it looked like a guy, once again, a guy who struggles with loneliness, and he, nobody, he mentioned at some point in a line that says like nobody chooses him or like nobody wants him. So he chooses alcohol because alcohol gives him a sense of happiness, forgets everything, and so he becomes an alcoholic. And from my gather from the lyrics, it's almost like this entire music video is a conflict with him and himself, like him against himself. He's angry at himself for being the way he is, I think. He also sounds sad that, you know, that things are the way that they are. But it's like no matter how much he he himself knows it's bad what he's doing, he cannot stop. Like there's that voice in his head that's just like, what what was the phrase? I hate it, another drink. Or like he's just going in circles in his own head. But you know, in circles, if you're going in circles, guess where you're always ending up? You're always ending up at the same point over and over and over again. Well, the one thing I'm not 100% sure of is the, um, the, the girl at the end. The girl that he was talking to at the bar and the girl that shows up at the end pouring the liquid on him. Obviously she, it's not, it never shows her face. And I think it does that for a reason in that it, she, she's not a real person. Maybe she herself symbolizes the alcohol because this guy was texting or it seemed like, at some, like sometimes he was talking to the alcohol or perhaps he was talking to his addiction. So perhaps the, the, the girl represents his addiction for drinking. Yeah, that's what I was able to interpret on my own, um, I'm going to try and find somebody else's theory breakdown to see if it somewhat aligns with mine. Or we may just find out that I'm stupid as hell uh, and that I'm talking out of my ass. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately I wasn't able to find a, a fancy Tumblr post that's like, you know, really, really, really goes super, super into depth with everything. However, I did find a comment by Time Bomb. Oh, she draws, or he draws, sorry. Credit to you, thank you. So there is a guy and he loves drinking and meeting women a lot, but never manages to get with anyone and keeps drinking to keep himself busy. He eventually breaks up with many relationships and keeps smoking. His habit literally kills him. And the woman at the end is a personification of his love for drinking. I know this isn't perfect, of course, but what are your thoughts? Okay, let's see what somebody else has to say. This one is by Princess Iolian. I think that he already had a problem with drinking and he was and he was with the woman he met at the bar for a while and she kind of had enough of his bad habits later on in the relationship. She confronted him about it and it caused him to drink even more. Then near the end, she kind of digs into him and he loses his mind and realizes, he realizes that he has a problem. Still doesn't stop him from drinking though. In the end, he can't break his bad habits and can't change for her, so she poisoned him. Got this theory from the text messages and the telephone when he said, don't leave me alone during some parts. It sounds like he is having a convo too. I didn't get that vibe though, I don't know why. Time Bomb actually goes on to reply to this and says, first he starts off kind, you know, that, that sounds really good. I agree it could be the fact that he couldn't break his habits, which, you know, we all know that. However, except please don't hurt me, <laughs> so cute. I believe he knows that he has a problem and keeps drinking anyhow and goes to have sex with, with women. The girl who poisoned him found that he cheated. Cheated? Where was that shown? Okay, I found this other guy that, it, it looks like he really, really like did his research. Brian Hokage. Actually, we get to know the identity of the girl in the end. The artist who created the song, Pseudo, made another song called Call Girl, which has the same beat and similar lyrics of Call Boy, which is how we know it's connected. The girl in Call Girl has similar hair to the girl at the end. In Call Girl, a girl is talking about her affection of the boy in the video until the end, where she figures out her love's been wasted. We see in Call Boy at this time, 124, how the boy lies about love and leads girls on for sex. The girl from Call Girl was probably heartbroken from him, going around with other women and from finding out he was faking his love for her. Oh, that would explain that one line 
where he said, like, stop stressing or stop worrying about how if this love is real or not. Also in the end, maybe it's just me, but it looks like she's pregnant too. The boy definitely died. He mentions one last drink before death. Either she killed him or he died himself. The crowd is staring at her in the end, so she definitely made a scene, either kicking his dead body while pouring alcohol on it, or beating him to death while he's drunk slash passed out, or leaving him to die while he, while he overdrank. When the boy was talking about being lonely, I'm pretty sure he was starting to open up to people, but because he's in such a toxic environment where feelings don't matter, none of the girls he talked to listened to him, and because of his toxic personality, girls who would, like the one in Call Girl, or the girl at the end that supposedly killed him, received his wild and violent personality when he was sober. Probably hit the girl in Call Girl in the eye since we can't see her left eye. So I guess he really was like fighting with actual real people. I don't know why, I guess I just didn't get the vibe that, from what, the way I read it and like the pictures I saw, it never really struck me as like he was actually fighting with a physical person. It, like the girl literally only shows up at the beginning when they're sitting at the bar and at the end when he dies. So I kind of figured the girl wasn't real and she symbolized something. Holy shit, that is very, very interesting. In short, don't drink. <laughs> So from those comments, this guy's a fuckboy, right? He leads on girls. However, apparently deep down he's lonely because no- I mean, he said that no one chooses him at one point. There are some parts that I can take away from the theory breakdowns that I just read, and then there are some parts that I want to retain from mine. I actually really like this one. I really like- because this one's the first music video where like, there seems to be conflicting opinions on what what actually went down in this. So for this one, I actually really, really encourage, even more than my previous videos, for you guys to please input what you guys think down in the comments uh, as to what you think happened. Feel free to make it as simple or as detailed as you want, but I mean, I'm really interested to see how each and every one of you interpreted this, because obviously we all think differently. Ending thoughts, uh, just overall as a complete package of a music video. So visually, once again, absolutely beautiful, especially that part at the end when he looked down at his phone and oh, that, you know, that whole thing went down. I don't know what the hell that was. That looked, that looked more like an acid trip than anything else. Amazing vocals. I didn't expect this from Miyashi Yu's voice, which I know now not to be surprised whenever Miyashi Yu pulls another what the fuck moment at me or at us when he decides to just do something totally totally different with his voice because i thought once again like you know he, he goes high he goes low and then he goes and does this like come on come on <laughs> and the little story in this one was while it wasn't as again as advanced or as lore heavy as the previous videos it was still entertaining nonetheless absolutely love this overall thank you guys for the suggestion for real <laughs> uh i really hope you guys enjoyed that uh i did <laughs> and uh yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll get to see you in the next video bye